All right. Well, I couldn't wait for my <coughs> heat sink to get back, so I just zip tied this uh, BAC on. It's pretty sturdy, so I can go out and test the 72 volt battery from Chai. So I think we'll start like in, in the lower mode. I'll put it in street. Street, I have an 8,000 watt tune, um, which is the same I had with the stock battery that had the battery bypass. So I want to see how different it feels with the uh, 72 at 8,000. It's definitely got a lot of pull. Yeah, 8,000 feels good. I don't want to go too fast here. There's a lot of kids and stuff around for this soccer tournament thing. The biggest difference is it just keeps pulling. So I think from the bottom, it doesn't feel too much different than the uh, 60 volt 38 amp hour battery with the battery bypass. But once you reach like a certain speed, it starts to, the power starts to cut out a little bit, but with a 72, it just feels like it just keeps going. Oh yeah, it just keeps pulling. And uh, 50 was the highest I could get out of that bypass battery with the 12 inch wheels. It's full throttle. Yeah, I got the 52 right there, no problem. So the voltage equals RPM, I guess. The higher the voltage your battery, the, the, the faster the motor can spin. And, you know, the faster the bike can go, top speed. So, I mean, it just makes sense that it's gonna go faster. up a traffic like this is no problem whatsoever. Kind of curious about the range too. Obviously going from a 38 amp hour 60 volt to a 72 51 amp hour, I mean that should be a huge increase in range. I only saw one range test online for this bike, or for this battery I mean, and the guy got like 60 miles out of it. But he was, you know, a lot of it was going, you know, a little bit slower. Was it going like traffic speed the whole time? Kind of mixed riding. Battery was like it was like 98 or something like that to start. It's been going pretty fast the whole time. So. But again, this is only 8,000 watts here. Ludicrous is tuned to uh, 12,000 watts. So at this light here, I'll probably bump it up to 12 and just take it really easy on the throttle so I don't like power wheeling and fall down or something. Alright, so now we're running at 12. Oh shit! 12 pulls, guys. <laughs> oh shit. That wasn't even full throttle. 12 pulls. Wow. Did 
video, I'm running a 48 tooth uh, sprocket on 12 inch wheels. Oh man, yeah, yeah. 12 is very nice. Oh yeah, you're hanging on to those handlebars, man. It's pulling. Uh oh, dead squirrel. Man, that feels nice. So I'm gonna do about 13 mile trip and just kind of see where I'm at with the battery. Make sure my BAC stays on too. Or Bach, whatever the fuck you want to call it. You know, the throttle feels really nice. Actually, it's nice and controllable. The power comes on like nice and linear. No like, you know, like peaks or anything like that that surprise you. It's, you know, pretty predictable. So far, uh, I haven't really like, you know, slammed it off the line or anything. And so as of today, I'm about 260 pounds though, so keep that in mind when the, you guys are watching this video and looking at, you know, how fast I'm taking off and stuff like that. So, you know, if I was like a 160 pound dude, this thing would be you know, really fucking nuts. I mean, it's, it feels really good with me on it. So, yeah, I'm really happy with this battery, how, how it feels so far. And if you got the money for it, it's like 25, 2600 bucks. I would say it's definitely worth it. And like, if you're not gonna be using all the power, you know, the total wattage of a battery is the amp hours times the voltage, right? So if you do a, if you look, just look at the Chai batteries and compare it to like the 60 volt batteries, the 72 volt 51 amp hour battery has more total wattage than the, uh, the 60 amp hours uh, 60 volt battery. So I mean, if you're if you're just running like you know 15 20 miles an hour, just dicking around, you know, going exploring stuff like that, you can expect to get just a you know, more range than, than you can handle probably. Your ass would be hurting really bad before you, you came up on the, uh... Oh, wait. Pretty sure this is Bay Area Boulevard. Yes, I like it a lot. Come on, dude. This bike's so much funner than any motorcycle you can get. Trust me, I've had a shitload of motorcycles. Like I'm going 48 miles an hour, but the sensation is like I'm going like 90. Because this bike is so small and light. And the torque off the line, these electric motors, you can't beat them, man. The, the torque is fucking awesome. Seven miles an hour right here. I'm gonna go dick around on this park here. Still, you know what? I still find myself reaching for the foot brake. <laughs> that doesn't exist. Whoop. Let's hit that fucking curb there. Okay. 
and then I'll do another test when I get my stock wheels back from we coat it because I'm putting those back on I, I mean these uh 12 inches they look fucking sick uh, they make the bikes really nimble uh, but I just you know I want to be able to go uh, off road and go explore different shit when I see it and then I like I ate I washed out and ate shit pretty hard like a couple weeks ago when I was doing that tornado video just going over some mud I love the way these ducks look so you can see I'm just I, I still got it in 12 12k right now just dicking around you see how controllable the bike is the throttle you know what I mean no surprises here if I hit it it's gonna go fast but no, it's like super controllable. I think that has to do with the, the, the tune on the bike from BAC, from Greenline Engineering. I think, you know, they tune these things pretty well. That's pretty. I wonder if anyone will give a fuck if I took my bike over there. There's supposed to be alligators here, but I don't see any. Nah, I'm not gonna piss anyone off. Beautiful day out here. It's gonna be like 60 something today, 66. I know I've been here before, but I like it here. Yeah, it's been a while because I've been waiting for my heat sink to come back from we coat it. But I just finally just said screw it and zip tied this thing on so I can get out and ride. I've been riding my, I have a little um, mountain e-bike. I think it's pretty cool too, but I mean, not nearly as fun as this. Anyways, I got the um, Shenko 741 tires that Dave, and he's, uh, I'm trying to, he's going to powder coat the wheels, the rims, and the, um, heat sink kind of like an anodized red similar to like the handlebars here and I bought some red spoke covers but when I got them they're just not going to match so so what do we got it says 81% battery I've gone like six miles well that's with me drawing from it so I have to stop for a minute to kind of really see what the voltage is all swampy so when it's up to 82 I'm not going to do a full range test today, it's kind of just like the first impressions on this battery. Definitely not, not going to have any range anxiety though. And another thing is with these wheels is they you bought them out really easily. When I put this battery on I had to take the bash plate off and it was all bent up. I had to hammer it back to, to shape. A couple guys on YouTube told me about there's some other options. I'm probably going to look into that. I kind of want to get like a anodized red aluminum one. I wonder if people freak out if I take my bike on here. I mean, it doesn't say no motorized vehicles or no bikes or anything. Is there anybody even out there? Yeah, there's people out there. I don't want to piss anyone off. Yeah, so anyways, I ate shit <laughs> really hard coming back from that tornado thing where I went and filmed the aftermath of that tornado. I hit some mud. Not even that much mud that came onto the sidewalk and it just completely washed out. Ate shit going about 15 miles an hour. Yeah, like stuff like this, when you have the, the Shankos and the, the, you know, the 19 inch wheels, it's easier to go fuck around and on the grass and stuff like that. You know, here, especially when I'm dealing with more torque and like you might hit some mud over there and wash out and fucking have the bike fall down on me or something. That wouldn't be fun. So I'm starting a, a podcast with my dad, stepdad, called the Philosophy of Living Podcast. We're both super into philosophy and stuff like that. The last 20 years we have like these long two, three hour conversations about different shit. And I was trying to incorporate that into this channel, but it's just like, it's just a weird thing trying to incorporate the philosophical topics into a vlog like this. And like, I can't remember all the points I want to make, so the videos, eh. So yeah, we're just gonna, instead I'm gonna do uh, a separate podcast and I'll have a YouTube channel for that. If anyone's interested, I'll link it once we start getting some videos. Hi. Good, how you doing? I love nice old people. <laughs> the other day I was just riding, it was just my e-bike, the mountain e-bike, around uh, this spot by my house. And there was like an old guy, you know, with he had the, you know, a Vietnam veterans cap on, you know. 
So I was, I was like smiling. I was gonna, you know, like say hi or something like that. And he just looked at me, looked at the bike, and just started shaking his head in disapproval. <laughs> so I was like, all right. Nice area of Houston. It's pretty crazy that this is in Houston because Houston's like a giant city. It's very similar to LA. So it's prettier than LA. LA's ugly as shit and it stinks. Houston is not ugly and it doesn't stink. And Houston has like just way more culture, I think. I not only is it the most diverse city in the country, but just like the, the urban culture here is really interesting. The music, the cars, the style and stuff like that, it's like super unique. And uh, people take a lot of pride in being from Houston too, which is, which is really cool. Oh yeah. I don't know if it's picked up very good on camera, but this thing fucking gets up and goes, man. I mean, and uh, the battery is at 57 degrees right now Celsius. So, I mean, it's handling the temperature quite well. A lot more confident than just, uh, Pulling out too, and I was worried about not being able to accelerate fast enough. That's not a problem at all. The brakes are surprisingly good on this thing too. Uh, 2023s at least, like they 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 got pretty good bite. They're progressive. So, yeah, I think the, the 2023 uh, version of the Sauron, you, know, you don't need to update the, the brakes, probably just the brake pads. You know, I might update, upgrade my uh, sprocket to like a 54 tooth sprocket or maybe even 58. What I get those uh, stock wheels back, I'm not sure. Though. Find your chain and shit. Paranoid about cops. <laughs> I mean, I've been seen on this bike a lot of times by cops, so none of them really giving us second glance. But you know, I wasn't going like 60 miles an hour on it either, so. And a lot of people say, like, I mean, so doing a build like I have here, the the 2023 Surons with a 38 amp hour battery is 4,500 bucks, right? And so then you add the controller and you know the battery, you know you're looking at an extra 3,300, you know, that's like 7,800 bucks right there. And then you add all the other shit, you know, like the aftermarket handlebars, all the stuff. You're looking at easily 11 G's on a bike like this. And then if you take it up one step more and you go for the KO motor, you're looking at another 2,500 bucks. So you can easily spend $13,000, you know, souping one of these up, pimping it out. And for that money, you can get like a zero motorcycle, right? Like a zero FX or something like that. Uh, with, you know, a lot more power, a lot more range, all that kind of shit. Uh, you can even, I think they're even compatible with like regular car chargers now. Where you can pull up to a charging station and charge them. The only issue with that is like you can't do what I'm doing right now, right? 
it's like you, you got to get insurance you got to get registration you know you got to obey all the regular traffic laws and shit like that it's not the same kind of thing as having a bike like this where you can haul ass you can go 70 miles an hour on the road with the upgrades and stuff like that you know or you can you know do five miles an hour on the sidewalk you can go on bike trails you can take it off road you can do whatever the hell you want with this thing so that, that that's where my argument that the value, I mean, the money you pay is, is worth it compared to like a regular motorcycle because I don't want to have all those restrictions. You know, I like doing this. I like being in like the gray area where I can call this an e-bike, right? And ride on sidewalks. I do whatever the fuck I want with it. Now, I know there is something risky. I think people in New York, you know, they get their bikes impounded and crushed and shit like that, which I think is fucking terrible. You know, you can't take another man's property and destroy it when they spent like $12,000 on it or 10000 whatever the fuck it is. Even if they have a stock one. I mean, that's total bullshit. I mean, if you want to give them a ticket or something like that for disobeying the law, that's one thing. But you don't confiscate someone's property and destroy it like that. That's fucking stupid. But, I live in Texas, so... It doesn't seem like that kind of stuff happens here. Like, the first group ride I went on, I mean... <laughs> There's this kid, he fucking fist bumped a cop, a traffic cop that was like in the road there directing traffic and then he fucking proceeded to take off in a wheelie, you know? So I mean, the, 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 they don't give a fuck here. And one guy was telling me that in my area the cops are supposed to be pretty bad and people are typically scared of coming out here to the Clear Lake area, but so far I haven't had any issues whatsoever. Right there, from the sidewalk into the street. You know, now I'm going like motorcycle speeds. And now what? Back onto the sidewalk. Yeah, these bikes are awesome. So if, if you got the money, I think it's worth it. I mean, you don't need anything. No one need. I mean, you need shelter, food, water. You know, maybe procreation, something to stick your thing in. Well, I mean, what do you actually need besides that? Nothing. People say, "Oh, I don't. You don't need this. You don't need the seven-two roller. You, you don't need anything, motherfucker." Right? You get it because it's fucking awesome and it's cool. And you enjoy it. If you don't want the upgraded battery or the controller, fine, that's your thing. That's great. Some people like to spend the extra money to soup it up and have a lot more fun with it. That's fine. There's a group ride going on right now downtown. I just didn't want to take my bike out there without having a, the heat sink all the way on. You know, I'm pretty close to home, so... It wouldn't be too hard to get home if I'm way the fuck downtown. I mean, that's like, you know, 30 miles away where they're riding and get stuck down there. That's gonna suck balls. Well, I have my car with me, so I don't know. When I get my heat sink and the other wheels back on, I'm gonna start going to those group rides probably pretty much every weekend because they're really fun. And there's a lot of really cool spots down there that I see on like the videos of the other guys riding, like uh, Dylan Thompson. I think one of the guys that we coded is doing um, vlogs or vlogs now too. See, look at what a great, nice area. See the little birds down there and stuff. Yeah, it says 69%. I'm I'm been riding the whole time. Well, since the majority of the way it was 12,000. But I'm not like I was using that. Let's see, motor's at 60 degrees. This is like how I washed out the other day when this was all muddy. Right like that. Yeah, so it was on this sidewalk too where I washed out. It was like one of these when it was really muddy. And they fucking ate shit on the grass. There's a bunch of cars out too and no one even stopped. They're probably laughing at me. I was just laid out on my back like a fucking starfish. This big old fat dude on this fucking e-bike just eats shit. <laughs> I mean, they probably laugh at me too. 
That's one thing when you're fat and you're riding these kind of bikes, people are gonna smirk at you. You know, maybe laugh a little bit because I'm sure I look pretty ridiculous on this thing with these fucking small ass wheels and shit. I'd laugh at me too, right? So I don't really care. Laughing and jealous because they got a fat ass bike and they don't. Yeah, I missed riding this thing. It's been a couple weeks. I did one video on my uh, e-bike. Uh, that's not terrible. That's not too interesting. Oh. You know, I kind of want to do the suspension upgrades on this, especially the back one. I mean, the front one's actually, I think it's fine. The KKE, I think, I think they're sufficient for the kind of rider I do, but the back one, it's not. And then I want to go exploring this park more because like there's like these back areas like up in there I think there's like trails you can go back there it was all flooded the other day when I checked it but yeah I wanted to be able to take my bike back there the style the looks of this uh, battery are growing on me a little bit at first I didn't really like it one I don't like how that cord does not fit um, under the cover that's kind of annoying so what does the battery thing say here? The straps on the way down it. It says... Okay, it's basically the same as up here on display. That's good. Yeah, I'm gonna go to this other spot that I've been to before too, but... Just kinda hitting all the spots today that are nice. I like seeing all the ducks and birds and shit. And then uh, probably uh, there's like this um, boardwalk park with a bunch of like rides, roller coasters and shit. And it's right on the water. I'm probably gonna go there in the next video. I think that's about eight miles. You know, so getting there, running around a little bit, and coming back, you know, I'll probably do like 20, 25 miles round trip on that. And then we'll see what the battery looks like after that. So I wanna hit like 15 to 20 miles today just to kinda see. It's hard to tell because the stupid uh, trip trip meter thing does not work. It will when I put the stock tires back on, but I can't figure out how to get to get it to work and be accurate with these 12-inch wheels. I think that's a, w one area where the GLE can improve, where you should just be able to pick your wheel size and it'll just, you know, be able to set the right speed and everything else. Yes. Jeez. Jeez the weeds. What the fuck's going on here? Bruh. Yeah, I'm up to like 113 subscribers now, which is pretty, I mean, to me it's a lot. Obviously, it's not much to other people. But I remember seeing Dylan Thompson, I still have seen his videos, but he hardly had any subscribers at all. Now he's got like 18, 19,000, something like that. You know, it's just, I think you just have to stick with it, just keep putting out content. I need to get out in the city, though, in some of these group rides. I can't do wheelies, but I can video of other people doing dank wheelies. That's another thing, I'm gonna start practicing wheelies once I get the other tires on too. Cause that looks like fun. You know, the, the front suspension, it just feels like kinda stiff. Ever since I crashed. I just adjust it a little bit actually. Let me, let me soften it up a little bit. Actually. 
You almost forget you can do this kind of shit. <laughs> Where I'm going, there's a lot of like people walking around and shit. Let's see if I can get <coughs> how many Karen stairs I can get. Yeah, so the highest I've seen the battery temperature get is 62. So this battery is definitely, I mean, the motor is definitely capable of handing 12,000 watts. So. No worries. I mean, if I was like, if it was a hot day and I was just like full throttle the whole time, maybe it would overheat, but I mean, just normal riding, it's perfectly fine. Yeah, I don't really see any reason to keep it in um, street mode, because if you want to draw less energy, you just, you know, you use less throttle. You don't go as fast. So right now, like I'm drawing, you know, 2,000. 1800 right so if you want to go faster you draw more I mean yeah I don't see any reason to run it at a lower wattage yeah, people are curious about it but I, don't, just, I haven't got any dirty looks or anything yet I'm not riding like an asshole either so all right well I'm gonna head back home now and just kind of see what the battery's at my ass hurts See, it's been about 16 miles. I'll try to calculate the mileage based on that. And it was not 100% charged when I left. So it was like 98% or something, so. <clears throat> but close enough. So I guess I can give you guys an update on my uh, weight loss. Uh, so I'm down 36 pounds now. My goal is 100. <clears throat> Once I reach about 250, I'm 261 now. I'm gonna probably gonna join this MMA gym by my house to get start getting some good exercise. Like I can bolt like as far as weightlifting, I have a full like gym in my garage. And uh, I can build muscle really fucking easy. So I, it's easy for me to get up there where I can. Not a regular deadlift. I usually use like the hex hex bar thing or the shrug bar, whatever you want to call it. But I can get up to 500 pounds on that pretty easily, and I can get up to bench pressing about 300. You know, it doesn't take me too long. But I'm trying to. I don't want to get too heavy. I want to try to get down to about 180, 170, 180. You know, but I want to be fit and strong too. But I think like MMA is a good way to go because like you're doing some strength training, but it's it's all very practical, right? You know, a lot of it's cardio. And I'm a big UFC fan, so it'd be cool to, you know, kind of learn. I mean, I'm in my 40s. I'm not going to be able to compete or anything like that. I get my ass kicked. But it'd be cool to kind of know what's going on in the fights, you know, like understand the striking better. I'm pretty good at understanding all the jiu-jitsu stuff. But the, the striking, you know, yeah. So it'd be cool to join an MMA gym, just do, like, probably kickboxing, boxing, and stuff like that at first. And then, you know, as I get, you know, skinnier, more flexible, start getting into the jiu-jitsu. So they do a no-gi jiu-jitsu. And the whole thing, it's a full MMA gym, so I'm, I'm probably going to end up joining that just to, like, to kind of get more exercise and get this fat off faster. So I'll probably end up plateauing at around 250. And then my goal is my goal is to get down to two, uh, 170, I think, something like 170, 180. I started at 296. It's going pretty good. I don't really have any food cravings at all. Like now, it's been a few months. Food's just like, you know, you eat it for energy basically. And I don't want to start jogging either because I'm worried about my knees. Probably start running, you know, when I'm down to like, you know under 200 pounds I could start running and jogging and stuff like that but you know I don't want to tear up my knees I think uh, fighting is pretty fun like sparring remember I worked at the a prison for a while and I was doing like social work type stuff developing programs but I worked with you know you know prison guards there was this uh, young kid there he's probably like 20 20 22 23 fucking just yoked the guy just like you know, I was doing like three sets of 10 with like 300 pounds basically, bench press, and he would, uh, 
they would do boxing, like sparring. So <clears throat> I started joining in with another uh, of my coworkers, right? And so we're both older. And so we would take turns sparring this kid and he would just beat me up first. Usually I'd have my friend go first so try to tire him out so I can try to get the leftovers but you know he'd just beat the crap out of both of us basically. <laughs> and then you'd thank us for letting letting him beat us up afterwards. But it was it was pretty fun, you know. They were not like we're going like 50% and I started getting some hits in, you know, after a few weeks. Basically I was getting my ass kicked every time, but you know, it's fun. I like, I enjoy fighting. I mean, I don't really like, you know, aggression or street fighting or trying to hurt people or anything like that. I'm not into that kind of stuff. But, you know, when it comes to the you have safety gear on and pads, you know, it's, it's good. It's fun. And if I had to defend myself, you know, it'd be pretty cool too. No, we gotta fight. Now that I'm down a bit in the battery, let's see. I got full throttle. Fifty six. Probably could have got up a few more miles per hour there, but. Yeah, it's not nearly as powerful as it was when the battery was full, but it's still a lot more powerful than a stock battery, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm pulling 6,000 watts, 54 right, right now, going 38. So the stock battery, I had, I had the uh, tuned at 8,000 with the uh, battery bypass on that 38 amp hour one. So, so I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes at home and then kind of calculate what I think the mileage would be with me on it, mixed riding like that, some high speed riding, some street, some sidewalk, see how it goes. Definitely a huge performance improvement over stock, obviously, but we'll see. Alright guys, we'll see you in a minute when we talk about the mileage. Ain't she a beaut? Yeah, I got this thing zip tied on. Anyways, I don't know if you can see that, but it came out to 55%. It's actually it's going up a little bit more, so and I did 20 miles. Uh, most of that was at 12,000 watts, and it started at 93%. So let's just say if I started at 100%, that would be at about 58% at about 20 miles. So at 40 miles, I'd have 8% left. You know, you don't want to go too low on it. And uh, so 40 miles, so 45 miles probably total on this uh, battery. Um, that's pretty good at 12,000 watts uh, with a 260 pound guy on it. Obviously if I weighed 170 and uh, I was taking it easy, I wasn't doing full throttle like I was and going, you know, 40, 50 miles an hour a lot of the way. You can probably get up to 50, 60 miles out of it easy. So I'm pretty happy with it. No range anxiety at all. You can just fucking full throttle, go ape shit on it as much as you want. And you, you'll have 40 miles out of it, at least 40, 50. So, all right guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I'll see you next time.